Now to a developing story and the major sell-off on Wall Street today. The Dow Jones suffering its worst performance of 2019, closing down 800 points. What a day. Our tenors reporter John Horn joins us live in studio because investors are now fearing an impending recession, John. Well, that's right, and they're losing interest. They're losing confidence in the economy, at least in the short term. So they're putting their money away in long-term investments to lock in better returns in case there's a downturn. It's created a phenomenon known as the inverted yield curve. It's something that has predicted every recession since 1955. Wall Street suffering its worst day of 2019, the Dow dropping 800 points. This coming amid a global economic slowdown and a trade war with China. Uh, China had one of their slowest quarters in 17 years. You know, Europe has been slow. Um, of course, all the problems with the tariffs and whether that's creating, you know, dislocations and slowdowns too. So everybody's concerned about the next slowdown. Investors also selling off after seeing the returns on short-term bonds become more lucrative than those on longer-term bonds. It's known as the inverted yield curve. The Federal Reserve of San Francisco says it has predicted every recession since 1955. When they're looking out and the longer-term rates are lower, then that could be implying we're going to have a slowdown. Financial advisor Dennis Brewster says we're now in the longest recovery by time in U.S. history. The Great Recession ended in 2009. Meanwhile, San Diego unemployment is near record lows and its median housing price is near record highs. Everybody knows that we're pretty far along the curve as far as where we are in the expansion. I mean, we're not in the second inning, we're not in the third inning. Brewster says it's unclear where we are in terms of economic growth which has been slow and steady. He says economists don't know we are in a recession until three to six months into one. And that's because a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth. Brewster added the markets always overreact, both on the upside and the downside. So you don't want to make too many plans based on what's just happened or overreact. So you got to just keep watching. <laughs> OK, I guess that begs the question. So what are we supposed to do? Jill? Well, as with a lot of these things, it depends. You know, if you're somebody in your 20s and you're putting away for your retirement, mm -hmm. it's a buying opportunity. If you're somebody that needs the money now, you know, you don't want to put this, all that cash in the stock market right. right now because, you know, things could go pretty bad pretty quickly. Tough for people who are close to retirement, too. Absolutely, because, you know, you've seen that 401k grow uh -huh. over all those years and you can be tempted to go to cash, but it's best to talk to your financial advisor before you do that. No doubt. Yeah. Don't panic. All right. Yeah. Thank you, John. Okay. And you can stay up to date on the financial markets by downloading our free mobile app. Just go to the App Store and search 10 News.